Hi, I'm Joanne. I'm the Head of Counselling Centre in MCKL. One of the things that they should expect will be the differences when it comes to high school and college. So the delivery style of the school, for example, um, how the lectures are run in college may be very different from how it's like in high school. So for example, here um, in terms of assignments, in terms of class delivery, um, in, in college, you'll be more on independent learning. So that will be some changes that they will go through. Another will be in terms of friends. So the um, coming to a college in a new environment, a new place, and that not all of their friends will be studying in the same place. So it's like rebuilding the friendship again. So these are the two major changes that usually students will face. Okay, one is to um, to be aware that there will be certain changes, that this is part of life, we are, we are getting out of our comfort zone actually, and to have that openness attitude, like okay, you are, you're open to learn new things, you're open to the new experience, and that will really help you in the adapting process. There are many different, different challenges that um, students can face, but um, I will highlight two of the most um, challenge, I mean, two of the most um, most common challenges that students face. The first one will be um, in terms of making new friends. Um, not everyone is comfortable, but maybe there are some students that are more shy, for example. So, in terms of making new friends, this can be uh, really difficult for certain students. Like, you're coming to a new place, you're, you're feeling alone, and you wish you have friends with you, and making new friends may be a struggle. Of some. So this is one of the common struggles that students will face. Another one will be in terms of time management. As I mentioned earlier, studying in college is very dif different from high school, whereas here will be more independent learning style. So one of the most um, one of the things that can be very challenging is will be in the terms of time management. Example, assignments are given in the beginning of semester, and the students is expect, um, are expected to know how to manage their time and how to plan out their time so the time management is, plays a very important role this can cause stress for example if you're not managing your time very well okay some students may have no issue in making new friends those especially those that are extroverts those that really enjoy uh, making new friends for those that really struggle I will, we will really encourage them to join all the activities that we that we um, prepared here. It can be from club, society, it can be from student services or even from the counselling department itself. Joining activities will help them to know friends or even doing orientation itself, they will be able to know friends. So that is very important. And to try to push yourself as well, um, not to okay. have a target like, okay, I, let's, let's say for example, um, even though you're not comfortable with that, um, okay, today let's push yourself, I just say hi to two person for example. So that will help to build up a little bit and a little bit of confidence in making new friends. Another one, when we talk about time management, having a schedule will be important. That will help you to manage your time so that uh, what, what usually happens in students' life is they forget about the deadline, the, the assignment that they have, and when it's nearer to the time and everything crash together and they feel overwhelmed with the demand that, okay, I need to complete so many tasks at one time. So by having a planning system, it will actually really help in managing your college life. Okay, self-care is really important even for students because this is the thing that will... I will always say that self-care is important because it's just like a recharge moment for everyone to help you to go through your days, your weeks, your months and years in college. So for self-care, it will help to you to face your assignment when, when you are in um, high stress, that, that will really help you in in coping and what you can do in self-care, for example, as a student, the, I will link it back to the planning part. So for example, in the, in the planning part, if you learn how to plan your time, so you actually, when you fix your schedule, when you plan for your days, there will be a time to play and also a time for study. So there will actually be both and this is actually part of self-care. Okay, so for self-care, 
um, we back to the scheduling because I always think that the schedule will really help to keep things in mind and perspective. You plan your day for example, okay, for, for example, these are the days that I want to commit to, to study, to do my assignments, to, to commit to other work and there's a designated time or day where you rest, you do things that you like, it can be reading, it can be leisure, it can be any outdoors, if it's permitted because right now we are in this um, COVID situation. So things that you can do, things that you enjoy and you like to do, so you put it all in your schedule in part of your planning so that will help you to have a consistent um, fun and me time as well as study time to all still students um, I would like to encourage you to join activities that the college provide because I always believe that um, college is not only a place where you obtain your diploma and it's not a place where you only focus on study all the time. It's a place where you develop yourself as a person in a holistic manner. You develop yourself in the academic aspect and you also develop yourself in your social and also in other aspects in your life. And these are the things that your future employer will look at. Your other aspect, your leadership skills, your communication skills. So all of these things you can actually get from um, engaging yourself, involving yourself in clubs and societies, in activities that the college has for you. And also if you struggle anytime in anything, you have any um, things that you, you, you are struggling with, I would really encourage you to not, you don't have to go through it yourself. Come to us and share with us and we will help you as much as we can.